This is a NAIS Interlibrary Loan System training video on customizing your request displays. Today we are working as the Newt School Library. Most of the activity that you will do in the ILL system is going to happen from your request manager. You can get to the request manager through the quick links or through the staff dashboard. When I bring up the request manager, you will see that there are two sides. There is a lender side on the right and a borrower side on the left. You can set the information that will be displayed in your various request lists for each of those. So you'll have one set of definitions for what shows on your lender requests and a separate one for what shows on your borrower requests. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to set up the lender request side, but it works exactly the same. The only thing that will be different is where you start from. So I'm going to start by clicking on pending over on the lender side because that's the um, option that is open to me right now. This particular library, the Newt School, has pending requests at the moment on the lender side. If I wanted to set up the borrower screens, I would do that from any active request on the borrower side. So we start by clicking to display a set of um, requests. Now this particular account has had a few things adjusted already. So as you can see, it has a whole lot of different things that are visible on the screen here. The way that that was done is using this little gear link. When you click on that, it brings up a list of all of the fields that you can display here in your request list display. It's important to include the attached note, the last day to respond, and the title because those are the things that you're going to need in order to take action on the request. You also need to include the status of your request. Everything else is pretty much optional. So this is your most pared down simplest display that will get you everything you have to have in order to make this work. So you would be able to tell if there were a note attached, you would be able to tell if this is your last day to do it. You have the title, which is the link to the full re request record, and you have the status so you can make changes to the status. But there are definitely fields that are handy to have in addition to these most basic ones. It is super useful to have the request number, to know who has borrowed the item. It can be very useful also to have the due date display and any reasons or conditions that relate to the transaction. All of those things are very helpful um, for you as the lender, but any of them that you think will be useful, you can feel free to include. It might be good to have a call number, especially where you are the lender because then you can see right there and then you can conceivably use this to go pull your materials instead of bothering with the pick list. So to close this little checkbox, once I've made my choices, I click on the little gear again to close it. And that gives me the options that I have selected for my screen. Now, in addition to being able to change the things that are displayed, I can also change the order that they're there by sorting by particular columns. So in this case, I could sort by title, by clicking on the little up and down arrows next to title. Or I can sort by request number doing the same thing. And whichever one has just one little triangle, so you notice title has an up and a down, request number just has an up. That's what you're sorted by, is whichever one just has the one arrow. But you can sort by any of the elements that are there and it will sort all of your requests so that you can see them um, in the order that you've asked for. I have only one page of requests here. If I had more, I could sort through them using first page, next page, previous page, and so forth, but I only have one, so there's nothing else to do right here. I have three requests. This controls how many requests I want to see. I could say I want to see a hundred on my page at once, 
or I can say I want 25 or 50 or, or whatever. I only have three, so that's all that I can see because that's all there are. But I can also set how many I want to have display on my page. Those same controllers to flip through different pages um, are also displayed up here and to change how many displays you have. So you have two different places you can make those changes. Now you cannot change the order in which the things appear across the screen. You can choose to have them show or not show, but you can't move them around. They're going to be in this order that is hard coded into the software. The other thing that you can do here on this screen, and this screen is called the table sorter, is what Autographics refers to it as. You can sort or search for things using these boxes at the top. And the boxes, so if I wanted to find transaction 9836, I can type that into the box and it will filter my results to show me just what I have asked to see. And then if I get rid of them all together, it says blank because it's thinking I want to see none of them. So now that I made all my pending requests disappear, how do I get them back? Well, what I'll want to do is I want to go back to my request manager and choose pending again and they come back because it wasn't that I got rid of them I just changed the display to filter out everything that didn't that started with blank now when you're searching by title in your table sorter it is filtering from the front of the line it is not a, in, in fact this is true of all of them it is not a keyword search it's a filter so if I wanted to find I knew there's something about watermelon and I put in watermelon, it won't find it because watermelon is not at the beginning of my transaction. Um, it's only in there. So what I need to do is to filter by, so I need to know the beginning um, of the, the string. So it will, however, ignore um, articles. So the bingo queens of paradise will come up under bingo. So by using this controller, you can change the things that will display in your various lists. And as I said at the beginning, you can do this once for the things that you want to see when you're the lender and once for the things that you want to see when you're the borrower. It will hold as you log in and log out of this account. So whatever you set is what anyone using this login is going to see. Um, they can make the same changes so you can adjust it each time you come in but it will hold till the next one for anyone who uses this particular login. So do be aware of that and consult with your coworkers before you make changes to the arrangement that makes other people not be able to find their stuff. So this has been an overview of how you can adjust the display columns on your status list from your request manager in the NAS ILL system. If you have questions about doing this, please contact the help desk at 271-2141 or send us an email at the address on your screen. Thank you for watching.